This is question one from the 2019 Ordinary Level Leaving Cert paper two. We have a statistics question where they're asking us to take the information they've gathered and put it into a stem and leaf graph and then answer some probability questions on it. You can find a link to an image of this question in the description below. I've copied the information onto the board here. It took me a while and I hope there's no mistakes, but there may be. Um, and what they're asking us to do in the first part is to complete this stem and leaf um, diagram here, showing all ages of all, yeah, showing the ages of all 28 employees. Okay, so how do we do that? The key here tells us one slash nine equals 19. First of all, what does that mean? That means the one is written here already and there's a, this is an extra bold line in the, in the exam, an extra dark line. And that's what that means. So one and whatever numbers we put here is, like for example, okay, so here's 18. I'm gonna put, well actually I'm not sure what I'm gonna put. I'm gonna find all the ones with um, a one in it. So we have 18, we have another 18, we have a 19, and uh, that's it I believe. Um, yeah, we have 18, 18, 19. So that's how we use this graph. It's a quicker way, rather than writing all the numbers, it's a quicker way to write them. It's not all that great though, but um, it's a little bit better. Right, let me just make a little bit of room because I'm just gonna do the same thing for all of them. Let me get all the 20s here. Let's see, I don't see any 20s up until this guy. 21, um, 22, and 21. I'm just double checking the correct answer I have on the screen here. So that is 20, and I put these in order. 21, another 21, and a 22. So I'm changing these to be in order, no matter how, because this is random. These could have been, maybe you asked some of these people first, maybe you asked which were sitting at the nearest desk, maybe you asked them as they came into the office that day. So this is randomly generated. We want them in order of their ages. Okay, so the trees, uh, 32, 39, I'm just going down each column here. 33, um, 34, we got 33, 34, and 35. Let's see, which is the smallest one? 32 is the smallest. I'll put a little line through so I don't uh, write that again. 33, let's see, we have two of them. Let's go a tree and a tree. 34, we have two of them. Four and a four. And then five and a nine. Five and a nine. Just double checking, yeah, that's the, the most of them, the most of the ages will be 30 in the 30s, actually, from the look at the final answer. So that's a good way to do this, by the way. Just write them down and mark them off as you do, because you could easily write the, the same number multiple times. Okay, 40s, we have 49, 41, 43. Again, I'm just going down each column here. And um, we have 42. 43, and you've lots of time in an exam to do this, so be very careful when doing it. Smallest number is 41. Let's see, next we have a 42. We have two 43s, so a tree and a tree, and then we have a 49. Okay, well let's get the fives. Again, going down each column, I have 58, 57, 54, 55, um, 57, and that's it. What's the smallest one? 54 is the smallest, let's put them in. 55, and then we had two sevens, and then we had an eight. Two sevens and an eight. Okay, all the 60s, let's see. Starting again down here, it doesn't matter where I start. Actually, for, just to show the example, I'll start up here, and we'll move along that way. It really doesn't matter what order I write them here because I'm ordering them after this in their ages. Okay, so 63, 65, 63, 64, and uh, that looks like it, Six, two 63s, we've got three and a three, and a four and a five, a four and a five. 
Okay, I will resist looking at the correct answer. I've just looked at it. Oh, well. Um, I have the correct answer there. But what do you have in the exam? Because you would like to check your answer. So you'd like to check it. One thing I'd suggest is to spot check it. Go through some of them. 57. Is there two 57s? Yes, they are. Maybe mark them off on this list. Um, actually, yeah, let me show you what I mean by that. Here's something you could do. You sure have enough time in your exam. 18. There's an 18. Two 18s. Two 18s. 19. Go through the whole thing like this. The 20. The two 21s. The 22. See if you find them all. Mark them all off. Make sure you mark off every one of them. And make sure you haven't marked any of them off twice. That's double checking your answer. Another quick way to double check your answer is to check how many you have. 3, 7, 14, 19, 24, 28. And how many total did we have? We had 28 employees. So I did get the correct number, but I would like to just mark them all off from there. I'm not going to do it, but I would recommend you do it to check your answer. I can check my answer with the marking scheme. You cannot do that in the exam. All right, this is full marks for part A. That's all you had to do. Part B then, find the percentage of employees who are older than 40 years of age. That would have been a hard question if we were dealing with this block of numbers up here. Would have taken a long time and it would have been annoying. On this graph, it's much easier to see. Older than 40, that's all of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 people older than 40. And um, so they have to find the percentage of employees. So 14 people divided by the total number of employees. That's how we get the percentage. The number we're looking for divided by a total number. That will give us a percentage. And this is equal to a half or is equal to 50%. So that's part B, let me write that in B. Let's do C, I think we might be able to get all of this done in this space. So C part one is find the probability that the employee is a teenager. Oh sorry, they've randomly um, selected one employee. Everybody was in work that day, they've ran randomly selected one. Find the probability that it was a teenager. Let's find all the teenagers, should be easy enough. It's 18, 18, and 19. They're, they're the only three teenagers here. There's three teenagers. The probability of finding one is the same as doing the percentage, actually. The probability of finding, because we're only picking one, probability is three over the total, 28. That is the, cor that is the correct answer. Does three go into 28? No, that is the smallest fraction we have there. Part two is a little harder, but not much. Part two, we're asked to pick two people. Find the probability that the, well, sorry, not pick two people, my bad. Find the probability that the employee chosen is a person in their 30s who age is even or a person in their 40s whose age is even. Let's do them separately. A person in their 30s whose age is even is, in their 30s, we have one, two, three. Three people uh, fit that description. Three out of the total 28 people are, is an employee in their 30s with an even age. Um, and the other, the other group was a person in their 40s with an odd. I might have said even a minute ago. With an odd age. So that's one, two, three, four. There's four people in their 40s with an odd age. What they ask us, what's the probability of this or this? We need to remember how to do probabilities for or. That is a plus. We add them together. If I want to get this or this, the probability is just them added together. So luckily they're both out of 28. So the answer here is seven over 28. That can go a little smaller. That is the set seven divides into both of these numbers. Seven divided into seven is one. Seven divided into 28 is four. So the probability is one over four. It's a one in four chance of finding someone who is either 37, um, who's either in their 30s and, um, sorry, in their 30s and even, or in their 40s and odd. That's the probability. There's a slightly different way to have done this. You could have also just added up both those probabilities. So you want someone in their 30s even, or someone in their 40s odd. Well, how many options do we have then? We have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 28. We could have gone straight to this number. That's the other way to do it. Okay, I hope that answers, um, answers this question for you. If, you. if you have any extra questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and goodbye.